Generic greetings and welcome to North End Tower Defense. Today's beverage is a very refreshing sparkling apple and blackberry spring water. Very nice indeed. So welcome to North End Tower Defense. This is, as you may imagine, a tower defense game where you have a bunch of soldiers and have to survive against waves and waves of, well, other soldiers that are invading apparently. This is early access version 0.1.7 which means it's very early on and although I've seen this game in the past I wasn't really that interested but I was sent a code so I thought I'm going to give it a go and well I'm going to jump in and show you a little bit of the game. Let's go to start game and we have at the moment anyway four options on the open battlefield mode we've got defend the base dangerous shores big trench and city invasion we've also got a new mode which is uh hold the line i've tried the first two of these and this mode here let's just go for defend the base and we'll go through the actual basics um we've got the m1 grand we've got the medic we've got the machine gun the both is 40 millimeter my personal favorite and a cannon as well so that's what we've got equipped but you also get a number of like unlock points as you play and i think we're probably going to go with a mortar so we'll spend some points and unlock that as you play as well you'll get level ups with the uh, the units so you can see our m1 grand units have things like uh, grenades so frequently throws grenades at enemies double mags the medic has uh, faster healing etc so anyway we're going to click start and we will go into the game we obviously are starting with a trench down here i'm just going to press space to pause it so this is our build area and the enemy are going to come from the top here it's with uh, one out of 22 and they've got a fair number of vehicles there so what I'm going to do is place a couple of bofers up the top uh, yeah on the bottom here um, on this sort of top ridge all the way along uh, you have two currencies you have money so that's your stuff they'll use to actually buy like these things here and then you've also got points which you use for like support equipment and such and obviously if they get to your base and destroy everything well that's um, well that, that's not ideal suboptimal to say the least so i've spawned some guys if you spawn near the sandbags they get some defensive bonuses as well which is quite handy we can see that we've got some guys coming in here and we are shooting away so yeah it looks like we are able to defend against them and when you take them out obviously you're gonna get some other points as well I'm uh, going to go for some mines here and place some mines oh, there. Um, we also get pop-ups as well, which uh, at the end of every wave, we'll get like certain certain things we can unlock. And one of the things I've unlocked here is a machine gun. So that's going to harvest on the right-hand side. Uh, we can see we've got a new unit type medic, new unit type mortar. I'm going to go with an upgrade, which is scoped rifle. M1 rifle gets better accuracy. That's on these guys here. But I'm just going to constantly spawn, really, uh, a lot of these <laughs> machine guns because as you may imagine they do do a fair amount of damage here i've also got airborne units which i can parachute in and artillery that i can drop uh, let's go for increased barrel a uh, greased barrel sorry which is shoots faster for the bofers there and then we'll place some units you can see these guys that are coming in they will take cover they'll start shooting you um and also when they die they sort of do this like random roll and oh there's some vehicles coming in as well and also some uh, motorbike and sidecar units as well. Let's just go for another scoped rifle upgrade there. Uh, maybe more machine guns is in order. We'll place one there. We'll place one in here. Another one on the right hand side. I'm going to also try and put some of these other guys in as well. I don't like that you can't hold shift when you've got something selected and place multiple units, but you can just press the one, two, three keys, etc. Just use the number keys to then spawn these guys. You can see when they get taken out, they do this like weird roll as well. Um, Although that guy was <laughs> launched up in the air for some strange reason. Anyway, some more mines. We're going to get some more parachute infantry. We can also get some barbed wire if we had some more points. But obviously we're lacking that at this stage. Don't really need the bomber. We've got another grease barrel there for uh, better bofers. So we'll run with that one. And then maybe a machine gun on the far right. Uh, another machine gun in the front here. Obviously there's only cer there's certain places you can build. And it's behind these sandbags essentially. So, yeah, let's just place some more mines in there and look like we actually took them out before they got to the mines. I think they're all spawning from these vehicles here. I think that's what it's uh, supposed to symbolise. Now, I don't know if we've seen it yet, or we must have done, um, but the units, unlike a lot of tower defence games, the, your units can actually die. You know, a lot of the times in tower defence games, you place the towers and that's it. Um, oh, I, I really don't like that. <laughs> you can see it spins around from the engine block there. Uh, it just, like, randomly spins. It doesn't drive like it would a, a traditional vehicle. There's a oh, be another upgrade for the... For the bofers there, and I'm just going to place more of these, more of these machine guns here because, quite frankly, they do the job quite nicely. We've also got some other units coming in. Looks to be some sort of armored unit. 
holding a machine gun, and our machine guns are firing back there. It looks like this guy's been taken out. I wonder if I can get a machine gun in there. It doesn't look like I can. But I do want to play someone else around there. And also planes crashing down as well. Let's go for... Mm, oh, more sandbags. Uh, MGs have 25% more health. Yeah, let's, let's rock that. Yeah, let's go for that one. We'll place that in there. Place that one in there. Maybe some more machine guns on the right-hand side. But we are limited because of like some of these trench ladders that are in the way. Let's go for mines on the right. We're going to bring some more parachute infantry around. We're going to start placing barbed wire as well, which I think they take damage going through that. And certainly they go... They go a bit slow there. Oh, yeah, see the way the vehicle just uh, spin around on the centre. <laughs> Good grief. Uh, they are getting absolutely shot to bits, so I think maybe maybe some more bofers. Um, actually, no, you know what? Let's go for mortars. We haven't got any mortars, so I'm going to place some some mortars in. And naturally, uh, I haven't really discussed it, but you can see this, like... Yeah, not really talked about it, but we've got this, like, circle around there, which represents the range of the guys that you have. Uh, the mortar is... Uh, actually quite decently ranged, so let's just place that there. I mean, you would expect a mortar to be pretty good. I'll place them behind here so they hopefully can't be shot, but we shall see if that is actually true. Uh, lots of mortars waving in now. Going to go with a new unit of a medic this time, and this will heal people in and around this area, because we are taking substantial damage back. Well, you can see we've got uh, shots coming back into ourselves, so we need to make sure that we can use our medic to heal people up, and... Let's just spam a couple more random soldiers here. Um, what have we got? Increased healing speed, a uh, new unit type of a cannon. Uh, I think we're going to go with, yeah, medic. Do want some more medics and some more soldiers on the, the left-hand side. Although it looks like we've lost some of our machine guns. So I'm going to place a couple more of those. So we've certainly taken some damage on the left-hand side. I know we had a unit on the far left that's now gone. I'm going to use an artillery strike here just to start dropping over there. Um, 161 for a machine gun, so I'm going to place that in there and that's going to cover that flank. Yeah, that flank is well and truly sorted. There is our uh, there's our artillery that's dropping, but it's uh, sadly uh, bombs have been dropping, but it's not going to work out. We've got a new upgrade for the bofers, which is uh, mechanics heal bofers frequently, new unit type cannon, or maybe extra uh, range on the grand on the M1. Let's place these in here. Yep, that's okay. Placing them in, placing them in, making sure we've got all these guys behind sandbags. I think we could do with maybe another medic on the far right, although where, the, where they are there, we might get away with it. Um, I'll just place it there anywhere. We've also got some ambient stuff going on, so we've got all of these like medical tents all the way around on the... I was going to say behind the front line, but it's actually right on it. We've also got in the centre here some uh, commander in a in a jeep of some kind, so hanging around there. Uh, let's go with new unit type cannon, and oh yeah, that's a... That is, that is an cannon. Yep, yeah, so we're going to place the cannon there, and let's see what that's like. Oh, it actually just fired there for some strange reason. I think I'm also going to go with maybe just more mortars, just stack mortars. Uh, let's just stack the mortars around. We also need some... Oh, actually, I think I can fit... Yeah, I can fit a machine gun in there. Brilliant. Um, it feels like we're a bit light on machine guns on the on the right-hand side, but those are now in. Uh, we're on to... What wave are we on now? Oh, hang on. We've got upgrade for the medic or the both. So we're going to increase the medic. Um, let's go for more barbed wire. Maybe some more airborne troops. And another bomber. It seems to be getting a bit heavy on the left, but obviously we have to... Uh, account for stuff spawning as well. So what if we what if we fire now might not be there uh, later on. Let's put more cannons in, and it appears the sound has pretty much given up because <laughs> of the how much it's kicking off. Let's go for another grander, another M1. Uh, looks like we've got good mortar shots going out. Lots of stuff trying to go through the barbed wire here. I don't know if the barbed wire... Oh, good grief. Is that their planes? Yeah, that's their planes going overhead. So hopefully the bofers can uh, take that out. It doesn't like they've taken all of it out, which was curious, actually. So what I'm going to do is use our uh, extra cash here to place some bofers at the back. I don't expect these to, to do anything other than take out the uh, the flyers. Let's go for maybe yeah, more medic. More medic, more healing, more better. Um, or both is back here. I say this is just to take out some of the some of the planes that come overhead. Let me just place some more machine guns in. Uh, I think that's about right. We've got cannons going off. We've got machine guns. It's getting very bombastic here. There's a lot more bombers going overhead from them. And 
Yeah, I think we managed to survive most of that. Uh, these mortars, I must confess, are really good. Let's go for increase. Uh, maybe both of us get the get some healing on that one. Um, also, I'm I'm also not able really because of the money. I'm not able to not able to spend it uh, fast enough, <laughs> which is it's actually uh, not 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 a terrible problem to have really considering. Um, what I'm going to do is spam. How are we doing for medics? Oh, we've got uh, artillery strike. That artillery, the battlefield periodically. Airborne units, uh, coin rush or extra reward. We're going to go with artillery strike now. And I think I'm going to start just spamming mortars. Uh, wherever I can get mortars. Wherever one can fit in, we're going to just put a mortar in and around the place. Looks like shots are working out quite well. Yep, that's good. Place them around here. Oh, I'm, out of, I'm actually out of money. That's... Uh, <laughs> that's happened then. Uh, might as well go with more airborne in here and then on the back there, barbed wire probably there. So they have to go around it. I mean, it's sort of chaos here. Uh, you can see we've got our front line, which is ridiculous. Let's just have a quick look from their point of view. Yeah, if I was told to attack that um, with the very... Uh, mediocre resources that they have. I'd I'd probably have low morale. So, uh, let's let's put it that way. I think that's the most diplomatic way I can put that. Good grief! That is our uh, front line. That's uh, pretty good. See all the buffers whipping around and firing at the targets when they need to. Just going to put some more mines in here. I don't think most of them are actually reaching the mines anywhere. And what I'm going to do is speed up to max speed because, quite frankly, I have a feeling that we have pretty much won this game. We're on with 17 of 22. So I'm not spending any money because nothing's really getting close enough to cause... Uh, considerable damage to us so I'm just gonna keep placing some of these mines making sure we've got a full minefield just in case something does get close keep placing barbed wire keep using our airborne stuff and just keep going basically and I think that should be that should be us for for this mission is there any places where there's a bit of a gap in the minefield there's a couple of gaps but we'll we'll be able to cover it by Moving stuff around, we got at. <laughs> I think what's causing the most damage is most likely the mortars, just because we've put so many of them in. There's so many mortars that we have. There's also, I notice, we've got this World War One German tank, and then we got what some sort of that's a tiger on the right hand side. So we've got two uh, periods here. <laughs> Two periods going on. Uh, artillery strike. We've got World War One and World War Two. Or maybe, maybe it's just a, maybe this is just a reenactment. I mean, I don't know what of. <laughs> but either way, let's go for some more barbed wire on the left there. Um, yeah, they, they can. It looks like there's there's no line of sight mechanic because I think they are ap actively shooting through that. I think we are as well. But uh, I'm just going to keep getting that artillery strike because for the lack of any other upgrades so just keep placing stuff run we have 19 of 22 coming up to wave 20 here dropping in artillery where we need it money i've got nearly 10,000. Uh, i'm just going to start spamming you know what more mortars so start spamming mortars all i'm doing here is i'm left clicking uh, i'm also pressing uh, the number f uh, four key which is our mortar so it's constantly selecting them so we can then place all of these mortars in, like you can see there. And uh, oh, the game, the game is slowing down a bit. Let me let, speaking of that. Let, let's just knock it down to normal speed because, yeah, everything is kicking off. Let me just go for maybe more artillery, more barbed wire. It doesn't look like the barbed wire is uh, destructible, but anything that gets anywhere close, we've got a huge amount of these these mortars coming in to take the units out. I think I spent about seven grand on just mortar teams and that on top of our artillery as well as the machine guns the riflemen obviously we've got medics as well to heal ourselves up i'm actually going to place another one in there just to make sure we've got proper coverage uh, lots of mines in here again bring in more more airborne units it's basically job done let me just knock this up to to the max speed there because there's not much to uh go on after this one so yeah that's that's pretty much that sort of we're going to go with artillery strike once again and just keep bombarding them keep placing mines just in case they get close this is the standard mode uh, at least the standard mode 
as of the time of recording, there is another mode which is like a a mode where when you're getting attacked, you if you if the enemy reaches your line, you'll lose a point, but obviously you get points by just uh, taking them out and win and doing it that way. I think I got to wave. 17, 18 before I went, yep, yeah, okay, I, I sort of, I get it now. <laughs> I understand the what's going on here. I don't know if there's a theoretical limit for that mode, like there's a max one, or I don't know what the highest one is, but either way, we got, uh, it was quite successful, that one. Lots of trucks on the back here, lots of stuff getting absolutely hammered. We're on to, looks to be, the last wave, wave 22 of 22. So... Uh, what is the takeaway? Well, apparently when you stack loads of machine guns and loads of mortars, yeah, you are pretty much invulnerable. We do have a couple of spaces here, but uh, we've managed to win. So we've got upgrades. So we've got upgrades on, looks to be the riflemen, the mortar teams, the bofers, uh, the medic, some machine gun upgrades, as well as the artillery as well. So on a point is 830, wave reached 22, enemies killed 1,775, and allies killed 50. That is not at all a bad ratio if we were to say who's won that one. So let's try another one. We've got Defend the Base, which we've just done, Dangerous Shores, which is a similar thing. We've also got the Big Trench and City Invasion. I've not tried either of those. Let's try the City Invasion. That sounds quite interesting. Let's pick the units. And obviously all of these are equipped. We've got probably maybe a bazooka team used for targeting enemies that are crowded together because of the splash. A bicycle unit. Um, a bicycle unit go fast and furious on enemies causing explosion that kills crowded units. So this charge forward and blow up. That seems a bit strange. Um, we've also got snipers. Um, well, how many points have we got? 1,328. So I could get armoured units... I could get bazooka teams, bicycle, couldn't get spitfires, uh, or an SMG. Okay, I actually probably want to hold on to that. Let me just start the fight then. So, never played this one before, so I have no idea what it is like. So, let's just see how we get on with this one. <laughs> That's an interesting charge forward there. So, I'm just going to pause it. We've got, ah, oh, looks to be attacks from the left front and the right here. Okay, so I'm just going to deploy a couple of units in and around the place just to make sure we've got some defense because I have no idea which wave they will be, uh, which way they're coming at. So at least this has now opened up the game tactically because we have obviously more places for them to come from. It looks like they're coming from the, the front here, at least the front from this angle. So I'm just going to keep spawning some soldiers there. Uh, we can do it. There's a poster on the side there. Let's go for machine gun upgrades. Uh, well, let's say upgrades. Unlocks first. So we're just going to place that in here. And looks like they're coming from the left-hand side now. So this is interesting. How am I going to rotate it? If I press K, it opens up our... It opens up our overlay, so it looks to be R is to rotate things around. Okay, so as they're coming out of this building and rushing this way, I guess we will have to maybe rotate the machine gun around. So press 3, press R. Yep, that rotates it around nicely. Got to upgrade the bofers to shoot faster. And maybe get number 3. Once again, rotate that round and place that in there. So we've now got a couple of machine guns on the left, one forward, as well as lots of rifles. I'm anticipating a attack from the right hand side let me go for maybe um rifle upgrade i'm also going to place some mines on that side place some guys in here maybe do a bombing run on there because we can see they're coming through or they're clipping through the buildings as well which is uh, suboptimal it's it's a high tier of technology that sadly we do not possess at this stage of the game and uh, more of those guys there these these are just running into machine gun fire which is yeah i mean it's 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 a, it's a tactic. Um, <laughs> it's the best I can say about that one. Let's place some mines and we can rotate them around as well, which is useful. We've got our vehicles coming in. We've got lots of other people as well. I think we do want to place maybe some more machine guns in here. Um, we are getting attacked once again from the top. I should point out it, it tops out with uh, 22, this one. So that's where we have to... That's where we have to get to, run wave 5 of this one. More people dropping in. I'm going to place some mines in there. And probably another unit of medic. We'll make sure we've got a medic at each individual stage. We'll put them not right on the front, but we'll put them more centralised. Obviously this is not just a big line, so 
we should be able to get away with fewer medics than before. Uh, although they're coming in with units with uh, with some anti-armor or anti-material stuff, certainly. So let's just make sure we can deal with that. Lots more, lots more vehicles as well. I think a couple of bofers is in order. So one there, and one there. So there's a couple more. They've dropped loads of units off, but yeah, it hasn't really worked out for them too well. Let me place in... I think we're going to go for a mortar, actually. So yeah, we'll go for mortars. So one in here, 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 here. Uh, <laughs> and just spam those mortars. They can turn around as well. Uh, it's not a problem. So yeah, we'll place that in there. You can see our machine gun here is getting hit by this motorbike and sidecar here. And they are taking damage. Barbed wire. But we're going to go in there. Nothing coming from the right-hand side just yet, but it will happen. So we do have to uh, plan for that eventually. So I'm not going to not gonna stop spawning stuff over there. And also, they can support fire across the waste. That's not too much of a problem. Let's go for more health on the machine gun because we are getting plastered there. Um, speaking of the machine gun, actually, I think we do require some more. So let me place in one there. I think we'll place another one on the left and one on the right. So we've got four machine guns in total. I think that would be ideal. And there's our four machine guns. Let's make that five. Let's make that six. Let's go for shoot faster for the bofers. And we'll probably spawn in some more mines and some more airborne as well. Like that. Most of the stuff seems to be coming from the top with a little bit of support from the left hand side. But I do still want to, as I say, keep placing these in, making sure that we've got as much fire as possible. Oh, look at that! They're actually firing through these buildings and hitting the side of that guy there, which is not ideal at all. I bet he's uh, getting flanking fire, which they're not impressed about, I would imagine. I'm going to go for a bombing run up the top and also more barbed wire. My idea is to shut down that ma uh, mainly. Let's go for MG uh, upgrade, which gives them more health. That's fine. And... Are they coming from the right? Not yet. It must come later on, although we are halfway through the game so far. I think I've just lost a couple of machine guns there, or at least the one. So I'm going to place another one in. And some more mines, maybe some airborne units in here. Oh, look, they've actually got planes coming at us. Let's go for maybe a cannon. And we'll get a cannon in. So a cannon can go there, a cannon can go there. And just because we can, none. Uh, on the right hand side as well. So a couple of cannons in there. A couple of cannons in there. It's fairly generous where we can spawn them, which is very handy indeed. Uh, money wise, we are doing very well. Let's go for mortar upgrades, so reloads faster, which is fine. Um, we've, some guy got hit there. I think it was one of our. Yeah, it was one of these machine gun teams and got sent to the other side of the map. So I'm just going to probably reinforce those like that. Hmm. Do you want to go with more mortars? Yeah, more mortars, more better is is probably the way forward. <laughs> Let's just knock it up a little bit and probably place some of that over there. Maybe some more airborne. I wonder if the game's lulling us into a false sense of security here. Like, we're getting attacked from the left and the top, but not the right. And maybe, maybe what's going to happen is later on in the game... I didn't mean to place that there. You can't destroy stuff by the look of it, so... Once you've placed it, you've placed it. But yeah, um, I'm guessing the, the, game, the game might possibly be putting us into a false self security because we're stacking everything on the front and on the left. They might just charge on the right. And then obviously that's uh, going to really cause some damage. Let's go for increased medics skills. Maybe put another machine gun or 17 in the left hand side here. We can spawn that in there, I'm sure we can. Let's place it up the top. Yeah, that is fine. Maybe another one in as well. Can we get one in? Yeah, we can. There's just a tiny bit that you can get. put them in there. Um, although there is something that I've experienced in the game. I'll see if we can see about uh, showing that now. But when you're placing stuff... Oh, we've got lots of attacks from the, from the top here. So when you're placing stuff, like this machine gun, for example, which all the machine guns on the left-hand side have been pretty much wrecked, uh, yeah, you get this overlay to show you, it's like, okay, it's in red, you can't place it. Won't allow you to place it. Fair enough. Understandable. Um, however, if the game is starting to lag out, I've, s I've found that you can sometimes get it to place in, in areas where it shouldn't be able to. So if I put it to max speed, for example, uh, I'm just going to keep spamming these in here. Um, yeah, can you see I've just managed to place loads of them in one go, so if I just go... 
Um, so what I'm going to do is quickly hit 3, which is the key for the machine gun, and then left click very quick as well. So it is... Uh, can I rotate around? Yeah, 3. Um, the problem is that it defaults to, to the front, but if I just spam them like that, uh, eventually... <laughs> We'll get to a position when this, if there's loads of stuff going on, we can place them. In fact, that is even true, <laughs> and this is where it is a little bit ridiculous. Where I can just I can spawn them in places where it shouldn't be able to. So I'm just, like I say, I'm mashing the uh, the three button for the machine guns, and then just basically left clicking, and eventually they'll be. I'm I'm catching it in between probably the uh, an if statement or something or some check where I'm managing to just to bypass it somehow um, <laughs> we've placed these machine guns there where obviously they shouldn't uh, they, they, it's not a place they should be able to go um, this is obviously early access and I'm sure this is gonna be something that's gonna change but yeah having let's see if we can place a bone inside the inside the building yeah we got a couple of both teams inside that building there now <laughs> oh yeah that's uh that's fairly ridiculous. Let me just go for some barbed wire in there. Uh, more airborne. Obviously, I'm not really worried about um, anything coming from the left-hand side here because, well, we've got so much stuff uh, defending against it when they probably shouldn't be able to. Although, that is worrying. They've managed to wipe out pretty much my entire uh, front line of machine gun nests, so I'm just going to have to replace those. Uh, this time I'll do it legitimately. Uh, and I'm also going to spam just some standard guys, just standard rifles, you see. Because we've got lots of money, so let's just do that. Go for increased medic upgrades, um, maybe some more machine guns there. We're on with 19 of 22, um, so this is pretty much fairly done with. Um, I'm not really too worried about anything turning up and looks like nothing's turning up on the right hand side So that could be random based on when you load the map. This is the first time I played so I couldn't Really say but uh, it feels like yeah, it's just it's it could be set but yeah either way We've managed to manage to defend against this quite successfully And um, maybe where we probably shouldn't have <laughs> defended against I mean that's a that's a fairly decent defense in here and lots of their units coming in as well there we are they're having to work through the barbed wire they're having to get through a myriad of mines we've got all of our artillery pieces it seems to me that the thing that you lose the most at least I've found here on this map certainly is the machine guns they're the first thing to go, but then again, they are the ones right at the front line, and it seems reasonable that's the best place to put them, really. So I'm going to spam these machine guns into... <laughs> like I say, that's, uh, that's something that will be patched out eventually, I'm sure. Uh, let's go for an artillery strike. Bring in some more units here. So, yeah. Next wave. Wave 21 place some more mines in. Barbed wire we don't need to place. Can we place it on the right hand side? We can place barbed wire on the right hand side. Not that we really need to, you understand, but I'm just gonna keep placing these in. It looks like they are almost, ex I was gonna say almost exclusively attacking from the from the middle now at the top, but I don't know if that's the case. I think realistically, if they're spawning over here, we've got these two or three buffers uh, hiding away in this in this building, absolutely uh, clipping them as they come around the side, so yeah, that's probably what's going on there. Even if we had no units, they're gonna have to get through all of these mines and then come towards a lot of the buffers and other teams that sit and doing nothing. So yeah, I, I think I think we can say with a fairly high degree of confidence that we are uh, pretty much on the way for a win here. Let me go for an artillery strike. Um, I guess we'll drop one across that way as well. Barbed wire over on the right hand side just because we can and not too much of a surprise you win so We have our um, max upgrades for the rifles the Bofors teams the medics we've got a new upgrade called snail speed that's for the machine gun 
and I can't read with that. That's it says better. <laughs> Ironically, this the text is all muddled up and it says better eyesight, so I can't see it. Um, okay, so that was the city invasion. That was okay, that one. Um, in terms of the big trench, we're not going to play it, but we can see we've got... What is it for the machine gun? Snail speed. Uh, slows enemies that gets hit. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I think we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of North End Tower Defense. I think... The best way to describe it is it's not finished. Um, it is, at the moment, uh, it's fairly chill. There's not a lot of challenge to it. There's obviously also not a lot of mods, but there's not a lot of challenge to it. Um, it's very um, modestly priced as well, which I think is a, a thing worthy of note at this stage. But yeah, would certainly like some more... more modes, more modes, more challenges. I'd prefer it to be a bit more challenging. It obviously does have its issues, we see with some of the spawn stuff there, and it's just a little bit janky in places, like the way trucks just spin around, or the fact that you can't hold shift to, and click to multiple, like to place multiple units, you have to keep mashing those those arrow keys. Rotating just seems to be really slow as well. Like I say, it is what it is. It's a early access version 0 0.1.7, so I'm not going to uh, go too hard on it. Like I said, the positives are, it's fairly chill, it's fairly quirky. You know, uh, it might just be something that's for you. I personally prefer a bit more challenge, uh, but I have had a little bit of fun with it. Mainly, <laughs> mainly because of like being a response to why I shouldn't, and that's <laughs> maybe that's a, a bad thing. But well, fun was had either way. So that's a bit of North End Tower Defense. I will check this out later on as they add in new uh, units and mods, etc. I've checked the patch notes and they have been adding new things as well. So it seems to be uh, being worked on. So hopefully we'll see more improvements and more units, more challenges in the future. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Video of North End Tower Defence. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.